Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to change the hair color and what's the most important I'm not going to show you just a few steps but I'm going to show you the techniques and tools you can use to change the hair color and what's the most important I'm going to provide you actions so the process of changing the hair color will be much easier and much quicker for you. Before we, we move to the tutorial, check out the description for some of my premium retouching courses if you are interested in this and right now we're going to start our work. As you can see, I already built some of the layers over here and it's already built because I don't see the reason why we have to do this um, since the beginning. The point is, what you can see, I created two hue saturation layers. So just press hue saturation twice, one selective color and one curve layer. Of course, you can create more of this, more of the layers, the adjustment layers. So you can create as many of them as you want, especially the ones with the colors. It could be photo filter, it can be channel mixer and everything you want. Then all of these layers I put to the group. To put something to the group, you have to select all of this. For example, press shift and just select and then press control or command NG on your keyboard and everything is inside the group right now. I don't want this, so we're going to do a step back and let's start. After you create this group, what I'm going to do I'm going to create a layer mask and I'm going to invert this in color black. So that's the action you're receiving. So how to change the color right now? I'm choosing the selection tool and it depends of course on the hair you have. If your hair are a bit more complicated, it's not an issue. You can find in my channel tutorials about selecting different objects, fuzzy objects. And of course your selection will be a bit more complicated but always you can easily do this. So I'm just selecting the hair. It's taking a while, it's big image. And as you can see, the performance of my Photoshop could be better. And also the right tool wasn't chosen. Maybe I'm going to choose the bigger tool. So we're going to do this quicker a bit. So first step is after you get the action and you activate the action, select the hair. Of course, you can see some empty spaces over here. Don't be bothered about this. Sometimes it's not just so visible. And even though if it will be visible, we can easily correct this after all. And I'm going to show you this. Here, as you can see, we have some of the mistakes. We, will, we need to correct this a bit later, but for now, don't be bothered about this. Just do a selection of your hair. After the selection is done, I'm just going to fix some of the areas. To zoom, I'm pressing Z on my keyboard and just moving the pen, whether I want to zoom in or zoom out. Of course, I don't want to have any selection here till this level will be okay. I'm going to zoom this out right now and I can see the selection is pretty decent. What I'm going to do now, I'm pressing Control or Command and I, and what you can see, what happened on this group, this, we, we got this white shape over here. So the white color means everything is visible, black color means it's not visible. So what will happen if I'm going to play with hue saturation? Let's start with the first one. As you can see, the basic step would be taking down the color that exists. So I can use the simple saturation slider to do this. The hair were pretty much dark. So as you can see, when I bring this up, this will get pretty much purple. I guess I can say it's purple color, kind of bluish. But when I'm going to take this down, it just getting gray, black gray in this case. If the hair color would be white or blonde, I mean blonde of course, or brown, it would get pretty much gray. So 
after I took down the saturation, it will be much easier for me to change the hair color for the future. And the first step is, if you want to get colorful hair, for example, kind of yellowish, bluish, greenish, once again, I'm going to use a different hue saturation adjustment layer, and I'm going to check this colorize box. After you check this, your hair getting into color. And by manipulating the hue, you can set up any color you want. Pretty much easy, isn't it? So let's choose something maybe not so abstract as this color, but something maybe suitable around this. Also, by manipulating saturation, you can bring up saturation or take it down. One thing I want to do, I just don't need the selection anymore. So you're going to see a bit better. So bringing up saturation, of course, it's getting too saturated and it's not looking so natural. Of course, it will never look totally natural, but we try and as much as we can. And as you can see, the spaces over here doesn't look so bad. So with this color, we don't need to fix this, but it's too soft. I think we will go with this color. You can play a little bit with lightness, but if you add too much, it will just destroy your effect. So I would recommend to be rather careful with this. So as you can see, you can achieve really a lot of the colors with hue saturation. There's also a few other tools. The tool I really like personally is selective color. And by selective colors and manipulating, especially by the neutral colors, you can get really amazing results. Of course, check the color of your hair. It's pretty much yellow. So also by manipulating of these yellow colors, you can achieve something really, really nice. Let's get to some really nice color. I'm going to neutrals. I'm going to see what I can achieve. For example, I want to get pretty much red hair. It looks suitable for this model, I believe, and I truly feel so. So by manipulating some sliders, I want to bring some really nice, I don't want to say bloody, but just natural looking hair. I like kind of this color. It looks um, really nice. It's something I do really fancy. Also, other tool you can manipulate is curves. Maybe I'm going to try with red to even improve the effect I have over here. And as you can see, it works just pretty much well for me. So I'm going to stop with this. I don't need this anymore. Of course, if you don't like it, if it's too strong, just work with opacity to take down some opacity if you feel it's too much for your image. Of course, you can open more of the adjustments if you feel you need to play with other adjustments. And as you can see, by working with everything, you can manipulate the hair color. So there is absolutely no limit with the technique you have here. That's something quick and something that gives you pretty much natural results. So I'm going to give you this action with this group of adjustments just to speed up your, your work. You don't have to waste the color. Uh, I'm sorry, waste the time for creating this layer. So I'm going to give you this. If you feel you want to add some of the adjustments, just feel free to do this. One more thing is you can do, you can always create an empty layer inside a group. By changing blend mode into color or some others, you can also play with colors. You can choose some color you really like, you really want, and just let's try it. By painting with this, as you can see, I have flow 34. You can pretty much add anything you really want. My favorite thing would be probably improving the lights by this, by changing blending mode to soft light and using white color, we can add really nice shine to your hair. It's too strong at the moment, so I would recommend you to play with lower flow and add some nice natural 
shiny colors. So that's how it works. Was it difficult? I believe you will not say so. The last thing is fixing the issues. So as you can see, the edges are not so clear. What are we doing here? We only painting with color white or black on this layer mask. To bring up the color, I'm going to paint with color white to make this visible over here on the edge. As you can see, I'm covering the gray areas that were not selected. It's better to do this careful, but from the distance, you shouldn't see the differences. And also, we want to bring back some of the lights from here. So I'm going to even change the size into a smaller one. And this time I'm going to press X to change the color into a black one. And I'm going to bring some of the lights that should be coming through just softly to make it look natural. It will be around this way. I'm just doing this quickly at the moment to not waste so much time. Somewhere on the top here. It doesn't look so bad from bad from the distance. Just when we zoom in, it looks so so. So painting softly like this, it give us natural result. So that was something I wanted to show you. I could paint this with color white if it's not something looking so well. But that's how I'm doing this. And you have to say it's simple and fast and it's giving you really good results. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check my premium tutorials if you are a Photoshop user. If you want to know a bit more about Photoshop, you won't regret this. A lot of discounts. And yeah, just follow me uh, to, to be updated with my future tutorials. What I noticed here, of course, I need to improve some of the areas. I didn't notice this at first. But yeah, that's something we don't need to spend so much time. So also another mistake over here. You need to paint with color black just to bring up the color, natural color that was here before. So, okay, that's how it looks like. What's the best thing? Also in the description, you can find an action for this course with this group over here. Thank you.